Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. What we have here in front of you is a Cheyenne, a 1977 Camper Special Cheyenne. So that makes it a three-quarter ton. The thing runs and drives great. The interior is really clean in it and nice. And it's got a few issues and spots here, and we'll show you those a little bit later on there. But I would drive this pickup anywhere. It's a great driver. In fact, I'm going to use it tomorrow. Let's check out the driver's side of this truck and take a look at it. There's, uh, it's a little bit rough right in down in here in the paint. There's a couple of chips right there. We've got a scratch. We also have a ding right in here. Uh, there's another spot right there and a little bit of marring on there. There's rock chips been flying up and, and getting this. Other than that, it's, it's good and solid. Uh, there's more spots. There's little rub marks there. There's a ding in the cab right there. The rest of it looks uh, good, solid, straight. This is primered in right down in here. So it might have been some Bondo in there. It's hard to say. A little scratch, scrape. There's some spots here in the hood. Here and over in the center of the hood, there's a couple of spots where it's got dings. And there's another spot right down here where it's been primered in. The front of this truck is about like the rest of the truck. Of course, you might be able to see this dent here in, in the video. And right here, there's three little dents right across the top there. The grill looks good. It's faded. Uh, chrome's good. Bumper's actually in pretty decent shape all the way across. A little bit of chipping, but not much. Pretty minor up here. Actually, the front end looks a lot better. There's a little bit of bad spot here in the uh, uh, headlight uh, nacelle. Otherwise, looks pretty decent. We'll take a look at the uh, passenger side now. That was a needle. There's a couple of chips in the paint. This is primered down in here. There's a little bit of rust through on the paint right there. Here's another little uh, spot here that's been primered in a little bit. It's rusty around here, around the antenna. A little spot right in there that's been touched up. And along this bottom edge of the rocker, back to the back of the cab there, is primered. So. You can see there's a few spots here and scratches in the paint. And this side looks like it might have got thumped a little bit. There's a little bit of a wow right there. More of the same rock chips where this flare is out here. There's a long scratch there. So a little dent right on the top here. The top of this on both sides, you know, it's been used. It had a camper on it at some time or another, it looks like. More scratches. There's rust bubbles right here and it's a little bit rough down on the bottom of this edge here. More scratches. A little bit of paint missing right there. Another scratch. Straight truck though. The rear of the truck uh, has got a little bit of a rust spot right there, but mostly it's, it's pretty solid. It's got some scrapes and scratches here along the, the uh, tailgate, and there's a little spot right there. But we got the heavy-duty bumper. We got the big square uh, hitch receiver. We got the good uh, brake setup. There's a brake controller in there. You got the heavy duty bumper. A couple of more spots. Some spots. There's a little rust spot there. Doesn't look too bad at all. Now to open the hood, reach right underneath there and lift, lift the hood up. Your engine's in there and it just close her back down. To open up the tailgate, just reach underneath here, lift and pull that out. Slide it down. You've got a good solid uh, tailgate. Now, as you can see, the bed is solid. It looks good. It's not all dinged and dented up. Same on the inner fender, uh, fenders and stuff. But we do have some rust right here on this side here, mostly. That side over there is much better. We have a big heavy lug uh, tire on here with lots of tread on there. It's cr they get chrome wheels, but they've been spray painted with uh, silver paint on there. This truck starts up real easily and runs good. You can see the oil pressure goes up. When I step on it, it'll go up a little faster probably. It keeps going up. The voltage goes up. 
down. If we turn the lights on, it'll drop down, as you can see. Temperature is, hasn't gone up much because we haven't driven it too far. It shows 63,926 miles on here. We have a half a tank of gas. The radio works good. And while the political waters are... Heater is right here. They work nice and easy and smooth. The dash pad in this thing is real nice, as you can see all the way across. The wood grain finish on here. All the dash is decent. This truck has two fuel tanks in it, uh, one on each side, and this is how you can switch it from, now it's on the right hand side, now we're back to the left hand side. And that's all there is to switching the gas. Your wipers are right here, they're two speed. And the windshield washers is right there. Your headlight switch is right here. Your brake controller for the uh, if you're towing a trailer is right there. Emergency brakes right here. Just reach in and pull it off. You have an air vent right there too, so you can get air in. Now, as you can see, this looks okay, but there's some discoloration here, and it's sun damage is what it is. This is the worst part of the interior on this truck. This this looks good. As you can see, this door panel is better than that one on the other side. This is not discolored like the other side. It looks good, the wood grain and everything. Got a little pouch right here. As you can see, the seat is really nice. It looks like it was freshly done the way it looks to me. And you got your seat belts and everything. There's a lever behind the seat here that lets it fold ahead. So you got storage back here. Now I really like how good the headliner is in this truck. A lot of times I get in this vintage of uh, Chevy pickups and the, these, they'll be sagging down, but this one's good. We also have the sliding uh, opening glass back here. Now you can see the carpets look new. They are. Andrew put new carpets in this. When I bought it, they weren't that bad, I didn't think, but when he got to vacuum, they started kind of falling apart. So I said, let's just put new carpets in it, and then we did. The underside has a heavy-duty uh, easy lift uh, trailer hitch on it, as you can see here. It's, it's rusty in, in, in places. It's not rusted through in the back end here. It's just a three-quarter ton truck, so it's got the big heavy-duty rear end in it, and it got the big brakes, fin brake drums. Now you got uh, exhaust mufflers look good and exhaust pipes look good. You have two fuel tanks on here, one on each side. I just put 20 gallons in that one to fill it up and, and I didn't fill this one up, but I look, so I would look like you could hold about 40 gallons. As you can see, there's some rust in it right here and some rust over on this side. Right, there's a little bit of a rust bubble right here, but nothing else. And I got to tell you, the frame is solid and good. There's no rust in the frame anywhere that I found anywhere. So the frame is good. This is the underside of the good range 350 Chevy engine in here and automatic transmission. It's a little weepy down here, but it's, it's really pretty decent compared to a lot of things I see. You got disc brakes on the front here. And I see that Joe at Old School Garage put a new uh, uh, brake hose on this side. Uh, anyway, when he's doing the service and safety check. We got a, a rust hole here, and on this side over here, it's rusted out. Other than that, the body is good and solid. The floor pans all look real good and everything. You'll note there, there's a battery. It's not connected to anything. It's just an extra battery that you can add to this, uh, being a camper special. And you, the engine compartment is not detailed. This is just the way we bought it. Uh, it's got a 350 good wrench engine in it. It's got about... Uh, 40,000 miles on it since it was put in there. There's your jack and everything, so you're all set.
We're now going up onto I-5, heading uh, southbound. This truck drives great. I would drive it anywhere. I don't know if you can see me or not, but it's fun driving. Driving this truck. I mean, if you're looking for a truck that's beautiful, this is not it. If you're looking for a good truck to drive and it's in solid shape, it'll give you a lot of good miles. I think you really need to take a look at this truck right here. As I said earlier, I was going to use this truck. You can see it's 63,936 miles on it. And we're heading towards a... Uh, to look at a car and a motorcycle and take in a baseball game. We're coming up on the Narrows Bridge here. There you go, the Narrows, Tacoma Narrows Bridge. We're in Seattle, Washington, and this is 30 miles south of us. We're heading for a little town called Gig Harbor, and uh, the baseball game will be there. The, uh, Gallup and Gertie, this is the bridge that blew down in 1947, and they've rebuilt it and added another span there. So it's kind of neat. Here's the 34 uh, Ford I was looking at. This is on the Purdy Spit going south. And we're going out in the middle of nowhere to go look at the motorcycle. I looked at the motorcycle. I did not buy it. Now we're heading back uh, across the Purdy Spit. A great place to eat. It was Italian. It was very good. It's getting a little bit evening. The lights are on here going across the bridge. We're coming back into Seattle. It was uh, 156 miles total we put on the truck today. If you're interested in buying this truck, please contact us at dragers.com. You can see lots more photos.